In this video, we're going to use the skewness calculator to calculate Pearson's coefficient of skewness, and then we will also use the skew function in Excel. So here it goes. Can you download the question file? All right, let's just use the calculator. Um, you can see here's the formula for Pearson's coefficient of skewness. There it is, and you can see the numbers going in. I have some sample data here. All right, so I'm just going to copy and paste the sample data. So copy. All right, there it is. So here's your here's your coefficient of skewness. So Pearson's coefficient of skewness is generally a number between minus three and three. Right. Um, uh, just, just, just keep in mind what skewness is. If uh, a distribution is positively skewed, it means that you have got one or more larger values that are pulling the average above the median. Right. That negatively skewed means that you've got one or more uh, um, relatively smaller numbers that are pulling the average lower than the median. And remember, the median is the middle number. Right. So I hope you find uh, I hope you find using this calculator useful and I will see you in another video.